Welcome back art classes. Today we're going to be talking about monochromatic color schemes. Um, so get excited for that. If you haven't heard this word already, let's break it down. Mono means one and chroma means color. So monochromatic is one color. Now before we start talking about the color schemes, I want to reintroduce the term value. Now value is key when talking about monochromatic color schemes. Value is the shade shade range from the lightest light to the darkest dark and all those little gray bits in between. Uh, you can create a value scale with literally any color. Every color you can make darker or lighter and have a wide variety of lights and darks of the same color. Now it's super important to remember value when we're talking about monochromatic color schemes and I'll show you why in just a second. So, without values, it's not a color scheme. Uh, look at the picture on the right and the left. If you notice the ballet dancer adjusting her costume, it's very flat. And if you notice the landscape on the right, there's lots of different values there, making it a color scheme. Not just one flat color. So now let's look at some examples. Here is uh, some photography done by Edward Clark, a Hollywood movie candidate. These people are obviously backstage getting ready for a sci-fi movie. Notice that very bright, vibrant purple coming to life, jumping off the page. Lots of values in that picture. Now, let's also remember back to our mood presentation. So, what was purple? What did purple represent? Mystery, right? You'll notice there's a, a Aquaman monster, Perils of Julia and Gilman. It's quite a silly picture, another sci-fi, no doubt. And then mood becomes very important in a monochromatic color scheme as well, because you only have one color driving the whole mood of the picture. So whether it's dark or light is going to make a big difference. So notice how this picture makes you feel. And then compare that to how this picture makes you feel. Here we have this interior of a forest by Paul Cezanne. Okay, now that we've seen some examples, we're going to practice. So this week's project is going to be monochromatic collage. So think back to your About Me collage. And this time you're going to be creating one that is all in one color, monochromatic. And it can be any color that you choose. Now, once again, I want to remind you guys that I understand you're not working with tons of art supplies at home. Maybe you don't have tons of magazines you could cut up, so get creative. Use junk mail. Uh, Use scrap papers, whatever you have lying around the house, ticket stubs, anything will work. We will accept anything, and it can be small if you don't have that much to work with. Here's another example of a blue one. This was quite possibly a digital collage, but if you had magazines, you could probably replicate an effect like this. Here's an example of one that I did. Now, I'm not sure this entirely counts as monochromatic because that yellow is veering into the orange category a little bit there in the top, but um, I tried to keep it all in kind of the same color family and then the, the gold just got warmer and warmer and I just liked it so I kept going. So here are the requirements. Uh, monochromatic is one color, has to be monochromatic has to have a range of values from dark to light, so at least five different values. And uh, no bigger than a piece of notebook paper, but smaller is okay. Remember to take a picture and upload it to Google Classroom, and I will see you guys next time. Stay safe!